Hello everyone, we're in the Viva Violins workshop again. Today I'm going to show you a very simple thing, but it's actually very important. How do you put your shoulder rest on? So you might not bother sometimes when you're at home practicing, or you might just let your teacher do it for you in every lesson, but actually it's something that you should get really good at because your technique will be much better if you play with your shoulder rest every time. So we've got two methods of doing it. We've got shoulder rest that usually looks something like this. They've got a curve in the middle and they've got feet that clip over the edge of your instrument. So we're going to use two methods and just choose the one that you think will work best for you. So we're going to start with the happy face way. So first of all, put your violin or viola upside down between your knees. Don't squeeze too hard. It's a fragile instrument, remember. And then get your shoulder rest so that it looks like a smile. Okay, so when your shoulder rest looks like a smile, we're going to put it onto the edge work like this. We're going to clip one side on, then the other side on, and push down. So the left hand side goes down until it feels firm, and then the right hand side goes down a little bit lower than the left side, and then it's on and it's secure. Now some shoulder rest tilt, so if you need the tilt on it, just tilt it as far as you need it so that it's comfortable. And you'll know when it's comfortable in your shoulder because it feels normal and how you're used to it. And that's as simple as that. So to remove it, exactly the same method. Between your knees, slide one side up, then the other side, and it comes off very easily. Okay, the next method is the sad face way. So if you hold your violin or viola in your right hand, you'll see that there'll be a thicker side to your shoulder rest and a thinner side. And we're going to use the sad face method. So we're going to make it look like a sad face and we're going to put the thicker side on one edge there. I tend to hold it against my body because it just keeps it in place, it's not going to go anywhere then. Then clip the next side on, so the thinnest edge of your shoulder rest. So it literally just hooks over the edge. Now it's not very firm at the moment, so push up the thinner edge of your shoulder rest so that this side is slightly higher than that side. And again, make sure you put the tilt on that's right for you. And it's on and it's secure and you can go. Again, taking off exactly the same, just in reverse, very simple. Put it against your body, slide the thinner side of your shoulder rest down and the other side will just come off very easily. It's as simple as that. You might not have a shoulder rest though that has a happy and sad face, obviously. You might have something that looks more like that, that's straight. That's not a problem. This one's got a hook in it. Usually it's the thicker end that goes where this hook is. So if you've got a different sort of rest, like a, a wolf or something like that, this is a Bon Musica, you need to look for the thicker side and that's the side that's gonna be like this one, curved. So we'll do the happy face wave with this one, except it's not, it's the upside down method now. So curly side of your shoulder rest is going to go over your chin rest. So violin upside down again. Find where your chin rest is. Mark it on the back with your thumb. Curly side of your shoulder rest is going to go there. So clip that leg on. Now clip the other side on. Now these particular rests do fit very firmly. So slide the left hand side with the hook on slightly more and then down with the other side remembering that the right side is going to be lower than the left side. You shouldn't need to tilt these ones, they should be already bent to your shape. If you get stuck, contact Viva Violins and I'll do my best to help you and uh, these should be automatically fitting you perfectly. They should have been professionally fitted ideally, so you won't have any, any tilting to do on these ones. Again, to take it off, between your knees, slide up one side, doesn't matter which, and then just comes off as easily as that. Second method for these is with the violin in your right hand. Find the curly side of your shoulder rest and we're going to clip that side on first. So towards you and hold it against your body and then clip the other feet over. Now these do fit slightly firmer so you might just need a little bit more pressure if you've got one of these. Slide up the side furthest away from you so that it's on like that. You can play around with where it goes a little bit just to make it more comfortable if you need to. Again, you shouldn't need to adjust the tilt with these, but if you do, you can gently tilt it so that it fits and feels comfortable. Again, taking it off, very simple. Hold it against your body so that it's all firm. 
take the side furthest away from you, bring it down away and it just pops off very easily. If you need any more information about this, you can find lots of um, handy hints and tips in my book, which is The Essential Handbook. You can find that at vivaviolins.co.uk. It's a really good book for uh, parents, students, and it gives you lots of basic information and also lots of um, much more advanced information as well. So I hope you can now play happily with your shoulder rest. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon.